Greetings, people of this fine planet Earth. I am Love Peace Joy 551, and I'm back with my old peep, Super Paper Mario. In the last episode, we returned to Queen Jadis um, with the seventh uh, door intact, so we're back in the underwear, which is apparently the seventh dimension. Oh, me! Thou returnest? Thou returnest? Did that game truly end this time? An idea strikes. Could you fi uh, find here and say, Love me back to the over there for me? Take her back? Why would you need us to do such a thing like that? A monster once was once held beneath here, but it's a re but a recent earthquake freed it. Once it escaped its prison and began to wander the realm freely. Of course, I could never send my daughter alone with such a savage beast on the loose. On the loose. If you would take her back, I would gladly open the way to the over there for you. I will also alert Granby that you're coming to ask him and that you're coming to ask him about the your heart. What say you? This is a fair bargain. Sure. I thank you. With this monster about, my D-man and I are busy trying to contain the damage. Alright, she's opening the way for us with her magical abilities. Cool. Just go through the store and keep heading upward to reach the over there. And make sure Lovebee arrives safely in the care of Grams. I mean, Granby. But avert thine eyes whilst we climb, lest thou succumbeth to my cuteness. Oh, please, he's not that superficial. <laughs> oh, me, a sharpened tongue, art thou jealous? Dost thou pine for yonder hairy twins? <laughs> for whom dost thou pine the most? The red one? Or perhaps the green? What? I... Thy cheek grows red and thy manner is flustered. Thy manner flustered. A crush hot as a thousand thuns, suns burns deep within thy heart. Yea, verily. Alas for thee, methinks. Anyway, movest on. Alright. It's amazing how easily I can mess up with my with this my own like English dialect, but I'm like perfect at the old timey dialect. Dialogue? I don't I don't I don't get that. I mean, alright, we're done with the chapter. Woo! Okay, but I don't I don't get that. <laughs> it's so odd. Alright, do I want to save my progress? Yes. Oh, awesome. I saw the prince, but nay! What I found were two ancient men of hairy cheek. Twas a horror, yea, and once thy, uh, that left my breath stricken in my throat. Love me kept, this, uh, kept up this refrain as she traveled with the heroes. She seemed less than happy. Still, she did have a lot of energy. Hasten thy chubby legs! Time wastes not for those who slack. Luigi, on the other hand, was elated that he and his brother were finally reunited. But Peach and Bowser were still nowhere to be found. Were they safe? So they thought our, so thought our heroes as they made their way slow to, slowly to the underwear road. Alright! And so begins chapter 7 through 2! The Sealed Doors 3. Cool. At long last we find it. Herein lies the way out of the underwear. This is the Underwear Road. So if we proceed ever upward, we'll eventually reach the over there. Yay, barely! One would think it's that uh, uh, that to be obvious. Ugh. My heart weepeth to return to the over there without meeting mine one true love. Pray, speakest to me, Tippy. Believest thou in the idea of a soulmate? Hmm? Well, you know, I... I don't really... Hmm. I shall mark that as, a, as one vote for undecided. Or perhaps I should say unrequited in my case. Ha ha! What did you... Ridiculous! I mean, I'm not... <laughs> Sweet Tippy, how simple it is to tweak thy chain. So, now I must forge onward. Catches me if you can, if thou canst. That girl's a walking mood swing. I mean, she's, she's entirely unstable, isn't she? Yeah! Tippy, have you ever experienced what we girls call the time of the month? <laughs> yeah, we're walking mood swings, people. Okay. We just follow, um, um, what's her name? Uh, uh, Lugby. Alright! Carnival Ride! Finally! Alright, we haven't seen one of these since book two. My word! Another one! Alright, we have to watch out for these really weird kind of gray blues. Oops. Dang it. Alright, come on. 
Uh, carnival ride! Alright! Come on. Oh, darn you. Alright, where, where? Oh! Okay, here we go. Alright, there's a door. A door, it looks as though it's held by some mysterious force. <sighs> Tippy, what is this thing? Please tell me. If you allow it, please. You stupid sensor bar! Come on! You dad gum. <sighs> I swear. <sighs> Alright. You dad gum, stupid. Oh my word. Whoever made this freaking sensor bar is like dead. Okay, there we go. This door is no ordinary door. Halt! What's this then? Travelers have come? Now, Queen Jadis demands I guard this door, people. I'm Door Guy the First. Pleasure to meet you. Lots of monsters around here, folks. Lots of monsters. So I've got to do routine, routine checks, okay? Sorry for the trouble, folks, but I need to make sure you're trustworthy. Just a couple questions. Answer them all correctly and we're done here. Then you can head on through. Works for me. Here's the first one. I'm warning you though, these are pretty tough questions, so use those noggins. D-Man A goes to the store and buys an equal number of tomatoes and eggplants. Eggplants cost 7 coins apiece and tomatoes cost 10 coins apiece. D-Man ha has 50 coins when he goes to the store. He comes out with 5 coins. Those are the facts. Now, who is the most powerful person in the underwear? Queen Jadis. Dingo! <laughs> Correct! Next question. Shade is sh uh, shade B buys, uh, buys 60, 667 pens for 13 coins each and buys 108 notebooks for 42 coins each. He needs more money, so he takes out 3,756 uh, 3, coins from the bank and spends it all. Those are the facts. Now, what is my name? Do I got the first time? Dingo! Correct! Now for the last question. Pen A and Bear B go to the Apple Mountain for a day of apple picking, right? There are 120 apple trees on the mountain, and each has a 20 apple yield. It takes A takes 10 seconds to pick each apple, while B takes 20 seconds to pick each apple. Those are the facts. Now! How many times did I just say the word apple? Dingo! Correct! You folks seem okay to me. Head on through. Cool! Alright! Let's use the same block. Yes, I want to save my progress. Alright. Huh? What do you want? Look, we'd love to chit chat, but we're in crunch time. We're in crunch time busy over here. Can't you tell? We simply must reach the over there. But we don't know which way it is. The over there, huh? See that door on your left? It'll let you up there, but we can't open it right now. We've got to guard the store. We've trapped a raging beast from the underwear inside. Yep, this thing in here is definitely the one that escaped his prison. Can't have it breaching the security, so we locked both doors just in case. This thing's a beast, let me tell ya. Real nasty. If it starts ranch rampaging again, I don't want to be the D-Man who has to stop it. Problem is, until someone subdues it, we can't uh, use the door to the over there. So, if you can tame it, we can open the door for you. Want to give it a shot? Sure. I was just messing with you. Seriously, no one would ever be damn enough to... Wait, did you just say yes? Are you nuts? You, you, you're serious? You actually think you can tame that beast? Yeah. Well, hey, yeah, great idea. Sounds like a smart plan. Tell you what, you head on in, and I'll mail your mustache to the next of kin. <laughs> Look, my prediction, your game's about to end. If not, we'll help you on your way. Give it a shot, champ. Alright, we'll give it a shot in the next part. See you guys later.